Good morning. It's day nine and it's been a busy morning. So I got up. No kitties were at the door. So today is the weird Wednesday, the wacky Wednesday that uh, the timings are all different. So I have a feeling that's partially why. So they, I, they probably were waiting at the door around six o'clock, but nobody was up. So then they wander away. So I didn't get up till 6.30 to get David up because Emily has a late start. But oh, Emily had to be there today at 8 for band practice. So they don't start until like 9.30, but she had to be there for band. So I got David up at 6.30, got him out the door, and then got Emily up right after, and then drove her to school. And then I ran errands again. So I have air, there's like an air, I'm having air issues in my tires. I don't know if it's, just the weather dropped significantly. So like one of my tires was really low. So I went and filled it. I filled all the tires this morning. So like I left school, went and filled the tires. And then since the bell tire is right next to Meyer, I'm like, okay, I'm going to run to Meyer and get the, always oh, at the Meyer. So I've been to the store three days in a row and that's really annoying. Um, but anyways, but yesterday was Kroger. I got the enchilada sauce. I got nylons for Emily because she needs those this weekend. And I got a donut. And frankly, it looks pretty good. <laughs> and I made a second cup of coffee. Since I made the K-cup, the K-cups are small. So it's a maple pecan. It smells better than it tastes. All these flavored coffees, all the K-cups especially, smell a lot better than they do. Smell really good. The first cup, I put a little maple syrup in it, so I think it was better. I think when you put the sugar in it, it really kind of brings out the flavor. So, sorry, I was about to just shove that in my mouth, but I shouldn't because I'm taking a video. <laughs> I feel like I'm just chatting with friends. Anyway, so I went to Meyer, got that, and I was on the lookout for a specific magazine. And I will tell you in a minute, but first, while looking for that specific magazine, I found other magazines that I bought instead. So I bought this for David. It's the Legend of Zelda, unofficial fan guide. I don't know, just something he can flip through. Talks about a bunch of Zelda games and he's really into Zelda. And then I saw this. Well, actually, I saw that one second. But first I saw this one. Time Magazine Dungeons and Dragons. So he literally just started a Dungeons and Dragons club at school. So this talks about the history of Dungeons and Dragons and all about it. So I thought maybe he could read through this. I mean, I know it's, it's I might read through this just so I can kind of relate to the Dungeons and Dragons thing. Because, I mean, it all sounds cool. It's all fantasy and stuff. It's kind of like Stitch Quest. It's like a choose your own adventure kind of thing. Uh, don't know what Stitch Quest is. Go back to some of my fuller videos and, or check out uh, Happy Little Yarns videos because she's hosting it. I am co-hosting it. It is going to be a epic knit along, make along, crochet along um, next starting in January. So anyways, but so I got that, but I was not looking for that. I was looking for this one. So I ended up stopping over at Walgreens on the way back to get the Minecraft Time Magazine. So 15 years of Minecraft, uh, Minecraft settings, uh celebrating their 50 year anniversary. So it's talking about just like the YouTuber phenomenon, the developers, uh, the new movie that's coming out, the origin of Minecraft. I don't know, I wanna read through this because I like Minecraft and David might like this too. Um, so I'm a Minecraft nerd. I don't play that much anymore. It's like off and on, I go through waves with my kids, but it's cause I have so many other things that I'm doing. Like I'm knitting and crocheting and doing all the crafty stuff. So my Minecrafty stuff kind of goes on to the wayside unless the kids start getting into it and then we form worlds together. But then it's usually like a roller coaster of we get everything going and then they get bored. And then I'm stuck with a world that I want to do stuff in, but it's like, I don't know. Anyways, but I like to read about it. I like to watch Minecraft YouTube. So, and one of my YouTubers that is, uh, that I watch regularly is in here interviewed. So that was kind of cool. So, that is what I did. Um, so yeah, now, what is it? It's Wednesday. Uh, I need to make bacon for the wraps tonight. I need to shred the rotisserie. So I'm going to start prepping dinner. I got to take David to the piano. Um, that's it. Uh, I still need to get to the outdoor Halloween decorations, but I feel like that needs to be a Saturday because I need to like prune down all my plants too. And I, I don't know, is it too early? It was awful cold this morning. I know that they say it should like frost hard frost or freeze. I don't even know. I don't think it's going to matter. Most of them are hostas. I think if I just chop the hostas, they're going to be fine. 
half the time I don't even prune them at all, but, and then they look ugly all over the winter. So I'd rather just get them taken care of. So, um, and I got to remove some of the perennial, uh, annual, annuals, annuals, the ones that don't come back. Those are annuals, right? So I got to remove the annuals. Like I have marigolds that are probably could come out now. I mean, they're still blooming, but some of them are looking pretty piddle, piddly. Some of them are huge and crazy. The other ones are like, eh, dinky. I might just start pulling them out. I don't know. So, but I mean, I think that's a Saturday project. I don't know what the weather's going to be this weekend. It's supposed to be cold today and tomorrow, and then it's going to get hot on Friday again, like close to 80. So, gotta love it. So, uh, anyways, I'm desperate. I am very much so thinking about everybody in Florida, though, because that is super scary, and that's supposed to be coming coming around today, right? The hurricane. So that is really scary. So I hope everyone stays safe and evacuate if you can. You know, board up. I don't know. I've never had to experience anything like that before. We were in Disney once with a threat of a hurricane, and they started like pulling down things and boarding up, but it ended up uh, passing. So which is good because we weren't sure if we were going to be able to fly home and how that was going to work, but it was okay. So anyways, that's my, that's my bit for this morning. Um, I will check in later. I never worked on my crochet ribs last night. I just ended up playing on my phone, which was dumb. I just, you know, I had my bag with me, but I just was like, just, I was so tapped out. So I will, I really want to work on that. So I'm going to try to work on it today. I still have to go for a walk. So I feel like I'm already behind today. It's 10 o'clock. So um, yeah, I need to get, get things done. Hi. Hi. What is he doing? Hi. What is he doing? Okay, it's a rib update. Uh, I haven't attached these yet because this is very try, on, try it on as you go. So I feel like I have to work on this at home because it's like I'm going to piano today. I feel like, mm, okay, I'm going to have a shirt on. So like the, almost felt like a little tight with the shirt on, but it's definitely loose without the shirt on. But I don't want to take it. I don't, I, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. It's definitely a little loosey though. Loosey goosey there under the arms. But again, I'll have a shirt on. So I think it'll be fine. Um, so I, yeah, maybe I need to add one more row to each one of these just to make sure it's not super snug, but I like it. I like the way that looks so far. That looks fun. Um, of course, I'm not going to be able to show you the back because I just can't, <laughs> but the back looks good. Uh, it's a little, I do feel like it's a little like, it got, it got kind of gaffy here, but again, I'm not going to nitpick. No one's going to notice again. And if I have a shirt on under it, I think it's going to look cute. Um, I'm almost wondering if I can try to incorporate into this into a Rhinebeck outfit. So like if I finish it, uh, wear this as my top, maybe wear my Lotus skirt as the bottom. I don't know. I don't know what the weather's supposed to be like, but, um, yeah, so, but so far so good. I like how this is turning out. So, uh, I just need to do the pieces this way and then determine if, and I probably will do them on the back because I think it'll look better. So, but I'll start with just doing the front pieces. They all connect from each little uh, bone here to the side and maybe that will help this too because it's a little, it'll kind of pull on this too so that will probably help things out so I think we're good um yeah I think it, it's fun I like it clearly I'm insane clearly there's no question about this at this point <laughs> so I'm working on my ribs and uh, it just it kind of pops in there. Like, okay, maybe I wear it to Rhinebeck. I don't know if I said that in the last clip. I think I did. Uh, then I thought, maybe I was just thinking it. I don't remember anymore. I should make a witch hat <laughs> to go with it. So I have my crochet rib, ribs, and then I wear a witch hat. So I started a witch hat. 
Now, am I going to finish? I mean, it's promising if I got this far already. Uh, I'm at 30 stitches and it only goes up to 60. Now, of course, I have to then measure it or check, check it on my head. And then you do the brim. So the actual hat part, like it's bulky yarn, it's eight millimeter hook. All just single crochet in the round. So it's going by really quick. So I think I can finish it, but I still have to finish the ribs. It's literally, I'm leaving a week from tomorrow. I mean a week, that's a long time to finish a hat in this thing. So, but my initial plan is to wear the hat, the ribs and a black shirt. And then my, I have the orange cape that I wore last year. And I also have a matching orange skirt that I could wear. And I thought about wearing my lotus skirt as well. Um, I, I will pack it. I don't know. Obviously, it's not going to, well, it would, it's gray, white, black, gray. Could look good. Not with the cape. Would eliminate the cape at that point. Or just wear, just wear all the things. I don't know. So, I'm going to take this to piano because I have to work on the ribs at home. I can't leave because I have to, like, constantly, I have to, like, pretty much, like, wear it while I make it to make sure it fits. So, now, and the one problem I'm concerned about is... Yeah, it's getting it over my head. So like trying to get the one piece that I have now over my head is already a little tricky. Um, but if it's, I mean, like it's not, a, it's not officially sewn together, but it's, it's got stretch. So I was debating on adding one more row to each end just to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, I might do that still just to make sure I can get it over my head and then get my arms through because it, it just gets all funky. So I don't know how that's going to affect the smaller pieces, like the mid-size, the, the actual ribs. So yeah, that, but that's questionable, so I have to figure that out. But for now, I'm going to work on the easy hat that just goes round and round and round. <laughs> no thinking, really, just counting. Uh, so yeah, that's my, uh, that's my new crazy plan. Okay, I usually don't let him on the table, but he won't stop jumping on the table because there is a bug or something in the lamp crawling around. You can kind of see it. So he is just like entranced. You can't get it. It's too high. <laughs> it's too high. I could watch this all day. With that being said, I'm going to wrap up the video tonight because it's getting late. It's 7.30. I kind of lost track of time, but I will show you the progress I've made on my witch hat. It is now a mini witch hat. It's like a child's witch hat at the moment, so not bad for a couple hours, if that. Uh, not even, yeah, probably like an hour. So worked on it at piano and a little bit before. So um, it is moving along quite nicely. So that's it. That's all I got. Uh, that's all I got. What else do you want from me? That's all I got. <laughs> so I will be back again bright and early tomorrow. <laughs> Happy Vlogtober. Mm -hmm.